understand what the stretches and coils are. The first coil in the golf swing is from ankle to knee. That is simply when the knee rotates in, it creates a stabilization and creates the first coil, which sets up the second coil from knee to hip. Now, if my left knee collapses in, I lose that first coil, which causes me to lose the second coil and throws my weight to the side. If the left knee collapses forward, I shorten the left side and my body tilts forward. So we need to make sure and get that first coil from ankle to knee. The second coil is from knee to hip. Now that happens when the right hip turns back over the right heel. Well, the key to that is the right foot position. When the right foot is flared out, the right hip is able to turn over the right heel and helps create the coil from knee to hip. The third coil is from hip to shoulders. That happens when the arms swing across the body and the body rotates through. Now if my right hip turns back over my right heel, I am able to turn the left shoulder behind the golf ball, creating the proper coiling action. Now let's talk about the stretches now. The first stretch is the left arm swinging across the chest. When the left arm swings across the chest, it takes all the slack out of my backswing. When I have slack in my backswing, I will always have slap in my downswing. So we need to make sure that left arm swings across the chest. The second stretch is the right hand hinging back this way. When that happens, it further stretches the left side. So that is why it's important for us to grip the club with the right hand directly behind the handle. And the third stretch is the folding of the right arm, where the right arm only folds to 90 degrees. If the right arm folds more than 90 degrees, we lose our left side stretch and causes us to have a power leak and hit the ball shorter. So we need to make sure when the right arm folds, it does not fold more than 90 degrees. Now to generate the proper amount of force and to maintain that force throughout the golf swing and eliminate those power leaks, we need to make sure and maintain our hands to club connection, arm to chest connection, and we also need to maintain our three stretches and three coils. If we keep the three stretches and the three coils and the three connections, I guarantee you're going to hit the golf ball longer and straighter and play better golf every single